What's good, y'all? It's your man, Sam, and here at Viral Hip Hop News. Go ahead and hit that like button and make sure you hit the notification bell to get all the latest notifications every time I drop a video here on the platform. I do appreciate it. All right, so on the podcast, we've talked over the last year or so about games situation where Priscilla Rainey had him in court over sexual assault allegations, the court ordering him to pay $7 million to Rainey. Obviously, the game refused over and over again. He went live on stage and said, F that, she ain't getting no money. We all heard it. We're all kind of worried because it was like, damn, hopefully game knows what he's doing, has money allocated in different businesses and different situations where they can't personally come after those businesses, but they can come after him. Well, we found out yesterday that according to court documents obtained by All Hip Hop, Priscilla Rainey has been granted ownership of the game's independent record label Prolific Records, as well as royalties from his latest album, Born to Rap. Now, this means Rainey now has full control over any salary the game was receiving through his imprint, which was launched in the fall of 2019. Now, per the documents, it states any and all rights, title, and interest of defendant in any money, property, or payments due to defendant from LA Prolific in the form of, among other things, commission, royalties, contract receivables, deferred compensation, income, wages, payroll, salary, and accounts receivable. Failure by defendant to comply with this order may subject him to contempt of court proceedings. It's further ordered that all third parties who receive notice of this order are directed to pay any and all money or property due or to become due under this order directly to plaintiff either one by check payable to priscilla rainey and delivered to plaintiff's counsel until and to the extent necessary to pay the judgment in full now the games manager WAC 100 responded to the news on instagram saying last time i checked WAC 100 owned all the royalties to born the rap and i don't owe that be a dime this is what he wrote when the CDC has their own, who knows, maybe I might lose in a dice game one day. But as of right now, today, it'll be right here in my little old portfolio. Now, the game, obviously, like I said in the beginning, was ordered to pay over $7 million in damages to Rainey back in 2016. Rainey received this judgment about a year after she sued the rapper for an alleged sexual assault that took place while filming. She got game, a VH1 reality show starring the game. The plaintiff claims that she'd agreed to go on the show, excuse me, to go on a date with game, believing it would be on camera. However, when she met the rapper in a Chicago restaurant, there was no production crew. The lawsuit alleged that game showed up to the date highly intoxicated on alcohol and drugs and assaulted the plaintiff on several occasions that night. This included forcefully reaching against hands inside of her dress and rubbing her lady parts now he's denied that allegation numerous times but that being said the judge ordered him to pay seven million dollars and now it looks like they're coming after the game's royalties now prior to this pandemic going on i know the game was overseas promoting the album i wasn't i didn't know that he had his own record label independent record label called la prolific that's funny that's another day for another time but hey man game looks like he's gonna have to chalk up some bread fuck we've been talking about this man we said we didn't know if games should be out here in front of media, kind of, you know what I mean, making fun of this situation. Seven million dollars is a lot of money. And we see in a day and age where they ain't playing these games with assault. They ain't playing these games with sexual assault. People are going to jail. High profile Hollywood people, people with money. It doesn't matter. They're coming after everybody. The game's no different. We'll see what happens. Apparently, WAC 100 says, now WAC 100 says, homegirl ain't getting it down because that's his money. Hey, we'll just see what happens. Y'all leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this situation. The gang bite off a little more than he could choose. He had just paid this girl his money or her money prior to any of this nonsense going on because now every album sold, it looks like that money is going to her. God damn. Like I said, y'all leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Also, make sure you subscribe to the viral hip hop news platform and hip hop news uncensored. The Uncensored Shoot Podcast official channel. Me and my brother, old guy, have been doing a ton of interviews you never know who's going to pop up on the platform who's going to pop up on set and give us some great content a great interview man so you want to stay tuned you want to make sure that you subscribe to all three movements 
as well as the audio version of the podcast, the only place you can hear our interviews and our content completely raw, unedited, and uncut. Appreciate all y'all who support the platform. Make sure you hit that notification bell to stay alert on all the latest videos I drop here on the platform. This is Sam Ant, CEO of Viral Hip Hop News. Over and out. Peace.